Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS project video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for the autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Marco Arruda and today we are, we are gonna learn about ROS, ROS mapping. We are gonna use gmapping package and how to use it with our custom robot, the same one we have been using in the previous videos. In this video we will learn how to use the gmapping package because there are some quite complex steps to configure it and make it work and you are going to use the same simulation and see this package working and the map being generated using the same simulation and robot we are familiar with. Okay? But before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required, you'll find a link to the Academy on the video description. So now let's start with our video. In order to sh show how it works, I'm going to use RDS, ROS Development Studio. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free, just following this link here, sign up. As I have my own account already, I'm going to just do the sign in and open my project for this class. So let's let me show here the list of projects first. Uh, I have created a project project already for this video, exploring ROS, video number thirteen. If you want to have this project, just give me your email at the description of this video, at the the comments of the video, and I can share with you the project. Or if you prefer, you can just clone the repositories. Uh, using the links at the description of the video. Okay, so let's open the project and wait a few seconds until the environment's ready. Awesome, so everything is ready. Let's start. Uh, I'm going to start showing, uh, explaining very quickly about the package. So basically, we are using ROS Kinetic, so be sure you have selected the correct version here. Uh, basically, what we need is just the odometry of the robot. Okay, uh, let me show here. Uh, requirements. We need a laser scanner and the odometry of the robot. Okay, to make this package work and generate the map. And we have also to, to make sure we have a transformation from the sensor to the base link, which is the the frame of the robot, okay? In this case, in our simulation here, uh, it's called link chases. So, and we have also many, many parameters that you can customize, and not all of them are mandatory because they have default values, but I'm gonna show how I have created my launch file, and you can use mine as an example, and then you can change the values to fit to your needs, okay? So basically I have created here inside my motion plan package. Uh, it doesn't matter because I'm not using a package, a program from, from my own package. It's just a launch file. So let me, let's make it bigger, easier to read. Okay, great. Uh, basically the most important arguments here we have to set are the scan, laser scan topic. In our case, this is my two-wheeled robot laser scan the base frame, which is the frame of the robot, link chases, the odometry frame, which is called here odom. Remember, it comes from the URDF file and the odometry from the gazebo plugin, which is also inside the URDF folder, okay? Uh, I'm also using this node here, robot state publisher, because this is the one that is gonna publish the laser scan uh, transformation from the laser to the robot link chases. Okay, that's why you are gonna need this node running. And I'm starting also Arvis because it's easier for me to launch a single file and have our Arvis uh, running. Okay, now for the gmapping, we have we are starting gmapping package, is learn gmapping. And the parameters, we are setting the base frame, odometry frame. <clears throat> and we have also many, many parameters here. 
I'm not using, uh, I'm using only the default values that I have copied from another example, but you can customize, you can dig deeper and see what each parameter uh, means and you can change if you need to, to personalize it to another application, okay? Uh, basically that's it. You can find also this file in our repository. Uh, and let's see it working. So let's launch our simulation. I'm gonna use bug one scenario. I think this is a, a good scene to see the map being generated. Let's make it bigger. And let's open the graphical tools because we are going to see it working in Arvis. I'm going to need also a terminal to launch the package. So let's wait a few seconds. Okay. Start the graphical tools. Hide the logs of the simulation, we don't need that. We expect everything works fine for this example. And now, uh, let's launch ROS launch, motion plan, G mapping, launch file. Let's start it. And we may have Arvis ready in this window here. Great, here it is. And now let's add to Arvis some visualization that we need. First of all, I want to see the scan reading. Okay. And I want also to see the map that we are generating. So map, here it is. For instance, we have only a small part of the map. Let's put at the same position more or less that we are seeing the world in the simulation. Okay. And in a second terminal, instead of driving the robot, I'm just gonna launch a bug algorithm and the robot can move autonomously. And personally, I think I'm very bad driver. So let's just run the algorithm. Uh, ROS launch, motion plan, bug one. I think it's a nice algorithm because it, it circumnavigates the obstacles so we can see the robot navigating more time around the world and generates a, a map, a very good map. So let's put it bigger. <coughs> And there it is. As you can see, we have only some part of the map generated. That's because the robot haven't seen yet the boundaries of the of the world here, of the scene we have. So as the robot uh, detects the obstacles, as you can see here, it has just detected this, this wall here. So it created a new region in the map. And as it gets closer to the obstacle, it starts generating more parts of the map, okay? And you can also see here that we are plotting uh, this red line here, which represents the laser readings. Uh, let's wait a few seconds and we are gonna have more and more for the, for the scene, okay? I think we have configured uh, the robot to plot only five meters of distance, and you can uh, you can change it, of course. Uh, here it is, six meters uh, to generate the map. So you can change this value here in the launch file. But this is used basically uh, in my case. I have used this value here because I know how much I can trust in my laser. So that's why I'm not using uh, a big, bigger value, okay? So as you can see, we are circumnavigating this obstacle here and we are also generating the map. So this is how it works. And also, as you can see, uh, our real time is passing faster, like 
two or three times faster than the simulation time because this is not a simple package. We have much processing running in the background. So uh, if you need to do this in a larger application, you should take a look in our plans and have a, a better computer, a better machine to run all these processes because this is not just a simple motion planning, just a reactive navigation algorithm. Uh, we are generating a map and we are processing many, many information from the laser. Okay, this is not a basic algorithm to run in any computer. But of course, our basic computer can handle it. It's just that you don't have the same performance that we should have in a best, better computer. Okay. So basically, that's it. Uh, that's all for this video. This is how you can use the G mapping for any application. As you can see, we have created this robot from the scratch. And after using creating the motion planning and creating our own algorithms to navigate around the, the, the scene, now we are using a very popular package from ROS. And as you can see, our robot works with this package as it should be. Okay, so that's all. In the description of this video, you will find a complete course about ROS Basic and ROS Navigation from the Robot Academy and all the resources mentioned in this video. Okay, uh, did you like this video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Cheers!